Today, we will demonstrate how to do the bone marrow biopsy from anterior approach. This approach is very good for overweight patient like this gentleman. Well, no, I'm not that much overweight. <laughs> or patient has COPD, cannot lay comfortably on their stomach. More importantly, for a lot of people on the ventilator, that's impractical to put them around. So anterior approach is very helpful. And this approach is actually easier if you get a handle on it compared to the posterior regular approach. From here, very important is to get a feeling. Anterior approach and posterior approach, we're talking about the same bones from different angles. For this situation, we try to palpate the anterior iliac crest and then put a needle in this direction, getting into the bone. Over here, it's very close to the surface, so it's relatively easy for even overweight people. For him, I will do, of course, initially palpating. You can already get a feeling over here. This area going to here. Sometimes I will have to use a instant tummy tug for this kind of heavy weight people. Uh, don't be offended. You are, you are not over heavyweight. No, don't say that. I'm not. I'm a 30. I'm borderline. Okay, you are borderline. Yeah. The record weight is 408 pounds. Oh, my God. All right. You can see this is an instant tummy tug. I use a white tape to move, move the fat layer to expose this area for better touch. After palpating this area, I usually use a pen to put a mark. Right on the bone. Code rescue. Is it hurting? Huh? Is it painful? Mm -hmm. Do you feel the pain? No, not so far. Okay, good. It's so over here. Got it. The first step is to clean and clean thoroughly. I see this angle here. Rub very nicely. So the germs will not cut inside. Oh, wow. Is it hurting? No. From second on, same routine. Now we are using a finely treated cover to cover this area. Expose the point. Good. First step is numbing. Numbing is the most important part of it. Most people, and a lot of people, the reason why the procedure becomes painful is that we do not numb enough. And sometimes we numb one spot and we put a needle into a different spot. For the thick layer, it's likely to do that because we can easily miss the spot. For the thin layer, it's relatively simple. Usually, I try to put a needle in, deposit some in the subdermy area, and then pull back and um, the superficial area. You can see that I'm constantly rubbing to distract the patient. Any pain? No, I'm all right. You're all right, okay. Then try to push down. You need to remember, try to numb a column from here all the way to the, uh, to the bone. It's not just a thin track, it's a column. The first needle get in, I deposit some of the anesthetics. And then the second one is aiming directly to the bone and to numb the periosteal. 
the feeling of the numbing needle can guide you where to put the final needle in. The correct position should be on the top, on the top of this crest. And the feeling of poking the needle in is similar towards put a ice pick on a pile of ice. It's not like the feeling of pushing a needle onto the board. If you are getting too low, you're hitting the needle towards the side wall, the feeling is like poking a very smooth, hard wall. That is not good. So uh, we'll see. Again, identify the spot. Feel anything? No, I'm all right. I'm putting a bigger needle in. You can see at these steps, I've already touched the bone. Okay. And the feeling under the needle is like putting ice pick onto the ice. So it's on the top. Try to rotate the needle in different angle to numb a small area on the bone. Not just a point, but a small area. When you're putting in the right position, you will feel a lot of resistance when you try to push the anesthetics in. You have to pull back, pull back a little bit. If you feel that your lidocaine can push in very easily, that's a bad sign that you are getting too low. Any pain? No, no, I'm all right. Once I put all the uh, lidocaine in, I usually leave the needle over there, let it sit for about three minutes. It takes time for the anesthetic to take effect. It's not a good idea to put the needle, put the ice, um, numbing medication, and then immediately start doing procedures. During this time, usually I ask patient to tell me some good stories. Three minutes is up. Scalpel, sir. Good. Usually, I have to use a scalpel to make a small nick before putting the needle in. It has a lot of advantage. It's a small, controlled nick. Come here. Try to feel the bone again. Small nick like this. That's it. No bleedings. Now put the needle. Now put a needle in. Get a nick. Put in. Important, we're putting the needle right over here. You have to feel the angle. Angle is the most important part. Different people may have slightly different anatomic structures. So right now, we put the needle into the uh, little nick, and I tried in different angle, try to put the needle right over here on top of the bones. So right now, I can feel it. I'm touching the bone. You see, very shallow. And then next step, I need to aiming at the right angle, start to drill. Do you have any pain? No. Get the needle in. You can see that my angle changed a little bit towards the outside. I'm start to drill. Any pain? Ah. Once you start to drill, you can see that my finger is holding the shaft like this. It's a middle finger to touch and support the shaft and rotate in this way has a little wobbly motion. Once you get into the bone, 
you can feel that your needle has been stuck somewhere. That's a good feeling. You tap on it, it's pretty firm. First step is aspiration. Try to avoid a big pull. Gentle, gentle. Oh. You feel something? Yeah. Okay. Drop for the speakers. Okay. All right. That's for the initial speakers. I come to here. I start to pulling up. Gradually, gradually. What's the feeling? Sharp? Uh, when you first start it, yeah, then it dulls off a little bit. Okay. Is it hurting now? No, but it feels uncomfortable. Yeah, three, going to four, good. Get ready, take it. Now, the last step, I will grind your teeth. Is it hurting right now? A little bit. We put a needle in, we get the aspiration. Aspirates. So we try to feel. Okay. The depths, usually I use a gauge to guide the depths. Last push. Okay, then lock it. Turn. Gradually coming out. Now you can talk. Hurting? No, it's all right. It's all right. Okay. I can see the bones from the cutting edge. You can see the bone? Yeah. Oh. And don't touch here. I need to see if I have a good core before I... Where is... Let's go to this side. Always put a guide on, guard on. Yeah, it's a big core, very nice. So it's finished. We'll clean it up. Let's get here. I guess you're not going to pass out because it's finished. Oh, you're all done? All done? How bad is the pain? There is no pain. And in the whole process, how bad was the pain? Not bad at all. This is the final cutting. See here, there's nearly no bleeding. Now let's uh, clean it up and tackle derm. And usually, I want to put a small tension band over here. Tackle derm on it. Of course, different people have different preference. And this way, good. Can you give me your hand? Put your hand over here, and uh, I will take away this instant tummy tug. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you like doing that. I know okay. that. <laughs>